Good day, watchers. Welcome to Japan Time. I live in Japan and I make videos of watches. Sometimes new watches, but most of the times just watches I wanted to add to my collection. So welcome to the world of wonderful engineering of horology. Good day, watchers. Japan Hobby Holic here, and I'm showing you these two watches that I've been on the fence for a while now. I keep, uh, you know, want to sell them, but every time I take them out and try it on, I'm having I'm having doubts, and I don't want to regret it later. So, you know, maybe I'll just uh, make a short video of them. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and click that bell button. First one is this Omega Seamaster 300, reference number 2552.80. Uh, this is in 36 millimeters, the same size as, uh, I think, uh, this, uh, the same watch as uh, Prince William. Uh, Omega, which was given by Lady Diana. Although the one I have is uh, does not have a blue bezel. Instead, I have the Polish uh, bezel insert. And I do love this watch. I can't really decide. The second one is this Omega Speedmaster date in white. I do love the white dial, so I actually got this one. And it's almost like a two-tone with this uh, reference number 3513.30. This is in 39 millimeters. So as you can see, they are all both smallish in size. And with their small size, they are so lightweight, easy for traveling. That's why these two are the my travel watches. They're small, really nice for my wrist. Like I said, lightweight. And yeah, I do love them. And one more thing, that's why really one reason why I uh, use these watches for traveling. In case I got trapped or uh, this got stolen. I wouldn't cry as much because uh, this uh, watches is does not go above two thousand dollars. So it's uh, something that I could uh, now not cry over or when I lose them. Anyway, I want to downsize my collection and I want to sell this too. But again, like I said, I am having doubts if I wanted to. They really look good at my wrist. So, guys, let me know. Should I let this go? Should I sell it? Should I keep it? Just uh, keep watching. I'm going to show more uh, close-up videos and nice uh, b-rolls of, of these watches. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. 